Bro, what are you doing over here? It's October 24th. It's National Food Day and MTV starts right now. This ain't what you want. Project, project, this ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Ha! Sixty hundred block. I just wanna rock. I just wanna. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. No time, side up. You gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides, and you better choose wisely. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, four, five, five. I'm your anchor, Michael Montgomery, and here are your announcements. This week, we kick off our dress up days for Down Syndrome Awareness. You should be dressing up and showing your support. The theme for this week is Lights, Camera, T21. Wednesday is Barbie Movie Day, so dress up in your best pink outfit and show your support for breast cancer awareness. Thursday would be Down Syndrome Color Day, so wear blue and yellow. And lastly, Friday is Remember the Mustangs Day, so dress up as your favorite football coach or player. There will be an Interact meeting on Thursday the 26th at 7.55 a.m. Track and Field will be holding tryouts October the 25th and the 26th. If you are interested in trying out, please stop by Ms. Taylor's room, CTN, doing your convenience for further information. Guess what? Student Council is hosting a candy drive for second block classes. The class that raises the most candy will receive a pizza party. The drive ends on this Friday the 27th. Trunk or Treat will be held on Monday, October the 30th at the Tennis Complex for 5 to 7.30 p.m. Entry forms are posted around the school. Forms for all clubs, activities, and groups are due to Miss Hurdle by Wednesday the 25th. Book Club is selling t-shirts and sweatshirts now through November the 13th. There are codes posted around the school. Please make sure you're purchasing and showing support. Here's your lunch, birthdays, and Darian with your five-day forecast. But before we go to Darian, on behalf of the MTV crew, please help us in wishing Ms. Gresham a happiest of birthdays and many more. Thanks, Michael. Good morning, Center Hill. I'm your weatherman, Darian Jones, with your weekly forecast. The clouds will be out all week with today's high being 84 and the low being 64. Tomorrow's high will also be 84 and the low will be 63. Thursday will have a high of 85 and a low of 69. And to wrap up the week, Friday will have a high of 86 and a low of 68. That was your weather. Now back to you, Michael. Now here's what's happening at the Hill. Today, golf will continue to compete in their state tournament in Sardis, Mississippi at Mallard Point. Also on today, cross country will compete in regionals in New Albany, Mississippi. This Friday, football will take on Lake Corman High School away starting at 7 o'clock p.m. On Saturday, October the 28th, basketball will kick off their season competing in a jamboree at Punatock High School starting at 4.30. Also, band will travel to Pearl, Mississippi to compete in the last competition of the year, state championships that will take place at Pearl High School. They perform at 9 o'clock p.m. Dance and Cheer will also kick off their competitive season on Saturday at Regionals. Dance will perform their game day routine and compete in the Mid-South Regionals hosted at the Renaissance Center in Memphis for the first time since COVID. Their performance time is 3.54 p.m. Please wish them the best of luck. Make sure you're coming out and showing support for all of your classmates and Mustang. Here's Xander with what's happening in the Middle East. Good morning, Mustangs. I'm Xander Dock, and this is your Reality Check. The Israel-Palestine conflict has deep historical roots dating back to 1947, when the United States adopted the Partrician Plan to divide British Mandate Palestine into Arab and Jewish states. Israel emerged victorious, resulting in the division of that territory into the state of Israel, the West Bank, and the Gaza Strip. In 2018, Israel built walls around Gaza to control the movement of people and goods. On October 7, 2023, the Palestinian militant group known as Hamas launched a major attack on Israel, resulting in the deaths of over 1,400 people and the capture of 203 soldiers and civilians who were taken to Gaza as hostages. Israel responded to this attack with an air and artillery strike, leading to the deaths of over 2,700 Palestinians in Gaza. Tragedy broke out on October 17, 2023, when a hospital in Gaza was bombed, causing nearly 500 deaths and hundreds of injuries. Palestinian officials and several Arab leaders accused Israel of targeting the hospitals during their airstrikes, but Israel denied these allegations. 
The U.S., a key ally of Israel in this conflict, supported Israel on their innocence. That's it for this week's Reality Check. I'm Xander Duck. Back to you, Michael. That was your show, Center Hill. And as always, here's your quote of the day. A person should always choose a costume, which is that direct contrast to her own personality, by Lucy Van Pelt. Make sure you check the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the bell so you don't miss another episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. That's a wrap, Center Hill. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe.